What's going on, guys? It's Eddie with DIY Basics. I'm just going to go over the two most common gauges of wire that you're probably going to run into while doing projects around the house when it comes to your electric. All right. Uh, so we'll go over these wires and, you know, how to identify them and what they're used for. Uh, and, uh, you know, the basic rules on the proper gauge for the proper amperage of, of circuit. All right. So basically, uh, to make it real quick and easy, we're dealing with either 12 gauge or 14 gauge in most residential applications, all right? The yellow jacketed wire is a 12 gauge wire and the white jacketed wire is a 14 gauge wire. And it actually has um, the information imprinted on the jacket, but it's hard to see because it's imprinted and it's in the same color. So it's hard to make it out on the video. But if you look at it closely, you'll see it says AWG, uh, 12 gauge it stands for American wire gauge uh, and it says 12 gauge wire and these are sold a lot of times they'll say 12 2 or they'll say uh, 14 2 and what it basically means is you're gonna have a hot a neutral and a ground on these wires all right so the rule basically says the electrical code says that if you can use a 14 gauge wire it's rated for a 15 amp breaker if you're using a 12 gauge wire, it's rated for a 20 amp breaker. So you wanna follow um, that rule when you're working with your electrical system so that you don't use a 14 gauge wire on let's just say a 20 amp circuit. And now there's an issue where you have some sort of fault and the wire overheats and melts before it can send a signal and trip the breaker. All right, so that's the idea behind the proper gauge for the proper amperage breaker, All right? It's rated for a specific amount of tolerance so that it can trip the breaker before it causes a fire, All right? So having said that, you could never use a 14 gauge on a 20 amp breaker because the wire would overheat before it would trip the breaker. You can, however, use a 12 gauge wire on a 15 amp breaker because the wire is thick enough to withstand whatever fault happens and it will trip the breaker before the wire overheats all right so it's a little counterintuitive but i just want to explain that the higher the gauge wire the thinner the wire is so you would think that 14 gauge would be thicker than 12 gauge, but it's actually the opposite. So 14 gauge is actually thinner than 12 gauge and 10 gauge is actually thicker than 12 gauge. So as you go down in gauge, you actually increase in thickness, right? If you go up in gauge, you're actually decreasing in the thickness of wire. So, uh, that wraps up this video. I just uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit of, of an explanation on, you know, what the different colors mean and where you should use them and how they apply and, and what the reasoning is behind it. Um, you know, as always, guys, be careful when working uh, with your electrical system. Uh, if you're not comfortable, you're better off hiring a professional. I'm not an electrician. I'm just someone who uh, has worked around the house for many years and, and have learned some things along the way. I figured I'd pass them on to you. Um, but by no means do you want to take, uh, working around your electrical, uh, you know, uh, lightly. You want to be, uh, careful. You want to respect it. Make sure the power is always off and make sure that, um, you know what you're doing before you get involved because, uh, it could be very dangerous. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Till the next one.